Cancer, welcome into your reading. If you are here, I know it is because you have been guided to be here. I know it is because you have been guided by your spiritual team to come in. There is a message that they are trying to give to you and it will come through in this reading for you. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you do get it, you are meant to receive it. So let's get into this and find out at this moment in time, no matter what's going on here, what is happening I don't know, but the Aurica cards have come out. It looks so good, okay? It's interesting. We've got here happiness coming in for you. First energy coming in, which I'm absolutely... And I see the other Aurica cards, and I'm like, well, well, well. With the happiness coming in, you know what that means to you. I just heard Spirit God saying they know what that happiness is. Okay, Cancer. So you know what it is that you, you want to have, or you want to be experiencing, or living... That's going to bring in this happiness for you. I'm hearing Spirit Guide say that there is a moment in your life here that is coming in that is, it's, it's full of good news. It's full of good news, you know, and I feel like this good news, this is what I'm hearing. I hear that you're going to be receiving good news. And this good news is something that you've been waiting for or something that you get happy by it's like whoa you're kidding with me right and it's like yes and this brings up a lot of happiness in your energy so beautiful with this coming up here we got serendipity let's talk about it um everything is unfolding perfectly okay cancer i know sometimes at the moment that you may be in you may be going I don't know if things are so perfect. Yes, it is. Even when things are really not going the way you want it to go, I really feel like this is so good. I feel like this is so good. And the way that it's unfolding, the moment that you find yourself in reading, watching this video, you are exactly where you need to be. To be led on your path to the moment where some kind of good news comes in. Okay, I love this so much. You must trust through the serendipity. You must trust and you must let go and you must let the moments move towards you without actually freaking out too much or feeling too like depressed or worried or anxious. Um, I do hear them saying they're going to, with the serendipity, you may be noticing certain signs or having certain dreams, um, noticing repetitive numbers like angel numbers, uh, just, just noticing something. There's signs that you're getting in one way or the other. For somebody out there, you keep um, noticing some kind of like insect. Like a, it can be a butterfly or something else like a bee. Um, it keeps coming into your house all the time. And for somebody else out there, it's feathers that you notice all the time. You keep on picking up feathers, interesting colored feathers. As you go on your walk or as you're on your way, you keep noticing, wow, look at this feather. Where did this come from? It's so beautiful. These are signs that you are getting, okay? There's something going on with signs that you're getting. So it can be something that you're seeing. Then we've got summer solstice coming in here. Now remember, depending on the time that you get this reading, whenever you click onto this video, when is your summer solstice going to be? So summer solstice, depending on where um, you are in the world, will be different. Um, timing is actually not the same if you're in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere. Because summer solstice in, say, the northern hemisphere is going to be around about June, around about that time. Am I right? Yes. And then for me, in the southern hemisphere, we have winter solstice at that time. So, it's, no, I'm actually, am I right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Because I'm thinking, my summer solstice actually is in December. It is in December. It's all back to front. Okay, so that's why I'm going, is it December? No, you see what I'm saying? Your winter solstice will be at the time that people celebrate Christmas and all those kind of energies. But it's actually got to do all the celebrations that we have with regards to like, um, uh, even Easter and Christmas, it's all actually pagan related. So it's all tied to when the, the, when the seasons are changing. And that's why we, if you ever ask yourself why Easter's dates change, it doesn't stay on the same time. It changes all the time because we, you're actually following the moon and the cycle. And what does Easter eggs have got to do with anything? Okay. Um, yeah. What does a Christmas tree actually have to do with anything religious? It's actually pagan. So, um, 
at the moment that you move into summer solstice, if you're in the southern hemisphere, this is going to be around about the 21st of December. If you're in the northern hemisphere, it's coming sooner for you guys. We are not jealous. I'm just saying. Um, this will be around about the 21st of June, if I'm not mistaken. So um, there is radiance coming in here. This is the moment that you are fully into this happiness energy. So something is unfolding for you over the next couple of months, okay? And you need to hear about it now. And at this moment, you need to watch for the signs and synchronicities. Also, I'm hearing Spirit Guide talking about what's going to be happening up into the summer solstice energy before you step into the radiance, which is the growth, the happiness, and also like the, the peak of something here that's very positive, okay? Um, there's going to be unfolding that takes place with serendipity, meaning that as it unfolds for you, you are going to be maybe going through something or something might not be to your liking or events are taking place and you're just like, I feel so out of control of certain things here. Yeah, you are kind of, you've been taken somewhere. And I feel like it's not bad at all. It's absolutely amazingly good. Okay, so the Knight of Cups has fallen. The Queen of Wands has come out here as well. I am going to get clarifiers out here for all of these cards. Okay, so I'd like to check out two different tarot decks. Um, the Knight of Cups, beautiful next couple of months. Next couple of months, yes. Um, literally, Knight of Cups means action that gets taken that makes you very, very happy. Um, for some of you guys, it's going to be a relationship coming in. It can be a relationship coming in here. Um, for If that's what you're looking for, if that's part of what will make you happy, then there is a relationship. For others of you, this is moving towards um, some way of being that's going to make you very happy. Um, and it shows up here as the Queen of Wands, which is the epitome of being happy. You're literally looking at the radiance and there's this beautiful sun shining. If this is a person coming towards you, fire sign energy can be in their rising sun or even especially especially the moon, okay? Um, they can be Aries, Leo, or even Sagittarius, okay, in those placements. doesn't have to be, though. They can even have those placements somewhere else, maybe Venus or whatever. So you're kind of looking at this queen in Queen of Wands, okay? Queen of Wands, it can also be you moving towards something that makes you very happy, something that makes you feel so creative and so inspired and so excited and so passionate about a life that you actually start living and experiencing. It actually makes you feel different. It makes you feel just like, you know, you're on top of the world. That's what the Queen of Wands is about. She's on top of the world. She is excited. She is looking at her reality. She feels inspired. She's motivated. She's going for something. And I feel that that's where you are. So let's look, yeah, what will come in next year. Love it, Cancer. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow, I cannot wait to get out the clarifiers. So you got the radiance here with summer, okay? Summer solstice, and you've got the sun. I <laughs> just showed up and I was just like, yes, 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 yes. The time that you step into this moment here, um, where you're now seeing the growth, you're seeing the happiness, you know what I mean? You're seeing... Um, your dreams becoming reality in this energy. It's going to be the time that you put down this Ten of Wands, okay? I feel the Ten of Wands is talking about your journey now, maybe the current journey that you're now on, uh, where you have been dealing with quite a lot with the Ten of Wands. You have been carrying a very heavy load of responsibility and maybe even worries, situations that you are dealing with. And I feel like when the sun comes in, when that moment steps in for you, you ending that, you're putting that down, you know, because the Ten of Wands means to put something down and to let something go and start anew. It really shows up right here. First of all, if this is somebody coming in a relationship, you will be in a relationship. Two of Cups coming in. Let's not forget we had a Nine of Cups, okay? Um, maybe for those of you out there who are single, it can even be this new energy that you carry, this new radiance that's shining out of you, this new energy of you now having moved towards 
something that makes you happy and you just in a world that's making you happy that can might even attract somebody to you it's like what you're having such a good time um can i can i can i have can i come and join you you know what i mean you're having so much fun you're so radiant you're so like happy and there this energy comes in because of that you know remember something you don't get um you get always what you are do you know what i mean you don't get what you're not one day oh my god i had a real wake-up call the other day somebody said um do you want to know how much you love yourself and I was like, sure. And they were like, look at all your ex people or even the person that you're with now. And then you'll see how much you love yourself. And I was like, I must have really not loved myself at all. And I look now back at the person that I'm, so maybe the person or the person I was married to before, not, no shade. I'm just saying the facts are facts. Um, I'm like, wow, well, is that what you actually put up with? Is that what you accepted? And you like, really? There was no love there. Okay, and you, you know, it's interesting. When you start to move away from things and you start to move towards what is meant for you, you have to find self-love. Because if you don't love yourself either, the universe can't love you also. And it won't send you. The card fell on the ground. Happiness. Okay, it won't send you happiness. I'll get it now. now. And with this, you have now got... And by the way, this doesn't have to be love, hey? This can be you in a life that you love. In a life that you love, being a person that you you like, being somebody that you're proud of, you know, um, this can be you aligning with the reality where you're meant to be, serendipity. Okay, this can also be you now on a new path that really makes you feel happy, and there you have your new beginning. Okay, your four of wands. Omg, look for signs. It's already shown up in your reading. Oh wow, because the four of wands is the eleven eleven card. Okay, it's the numbers, it's the angel number card of a new cycle beginning, a new stage in your life where you are celebrating your reality. And there's your 41111. You might even be noticing other numbers like 555 or like um, 11212, 2121. They all aligned like that. Um, for you to see that you are now moving and transitioning. If you're seeing a repetitive number over and over, uh, triple three, anything like that, go and check what that means. And it will give you more clarification exactly on what it is that what part of life is being affected for you. That four of wands can even be, if it's a relationship, yeah, um, something very serious. It can be uh, to be honest, a, a wedding uh, or marriage, okay? For others of you, that is you just celebrating a complete new cycle, a complete new era, era, era in your life, okay? So let's go, let's go and get this right. Let's go see what's going on here. I must get the speaking right, I'm just saying. Okay, so let's go in here and see what's going on with you. Cancer, let's get the clarifiers out. More information for me, please, spirit guide for cancer. Wow, now we're starting to get more information. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, there's something I'm going to have to tell you. I must tell you something. I must tell you something. Okay, something, remind me over here. I have to tell you something. Um, so what are you moving towards? What What is it that you're moving towards? What does that look like for you? The, one of the biggest things this is going to be is long-term Safety, financial stability, you feeling like the home you live in, it's yours. You know, you feeling like the money that you have around you, it's not going away. So you feel very, very safe here. So you're moving towards your financial stability, your independence, your safety. Congratulations. With this energy, we do remember I mentioned to you if this is a relationship, because it can be a relationship. If this is a relationship, um, it's going to be a very stable relationship. Okay, I feel like there's two stories going on here. The Queen of Wands is now clarified by Temperance, which is Sagittarius. Okay, and I feel like the Queen of Wands is very mutable now tied with Sagittarius. So this person could truly be a fire sign. Okay, if it is a person, if this is you in your reality, be very flexible. I feel like um, be very flexible, be very open to whatever comes towards you and sort of like be ready to change your mind at any given time. 
I, I know it's a very weird feeling. I feel like your happiness and where you're moving into is really tied to um, this feeling of uh, go with the flow. Really go with the flow and adjust. When something happens, just adjust with it. Be very Sagittarius-like. So Sagittarian people, if you're going to call them today and tell them, hey, um, tomorrow morning, let's, let's fly to Europe. They're like, I'm packing. They were, in fact, they've already packed. They're so ready for anything. And they're like, what time must I be there? And they're ready to go. They're not going to question. They're not going to do anything. They're just going to go. They can be extreme sometimes. But at the same time, they're also um, really open to change. One of the easiest zodiac signs that can handle change the best is Sagittarius because they're so kind of easygoing with things. They'll flow with whatever comes. In fact, they thrive uh, in that energy of like changes upon me. They're thriving. They're like, ooh you know it's the way they are and i feel like they're going be remain very flexible remain open to any changes open to anything that leads you in a new direction because i'm telling you it's leading you remember serendipity to where you need to be okay very positive with the sun card we've got the hermit coming out let's talk about this you've got temperance you also got a virgo in your reading here as well you've also got pisces in your reading okay i'm going to mention all the zodiac signs so with the moon card coming up here uh, sorry the hermit card you do actually have a moon card with the hermit card coming up here with the sun this is what you need to know the hermit card can be a time of needing to go within needing to kind of like reflect upon what it is that will make you happy what it is that you don't want to see how you're getting yourself to be where you are right now the journey that you've taken the winding path of life and how it's moving you forward it's also a spiritual card so we've got a lot of trust coming in about you and when the serendipity is going to happen so you can step into this happiness that you want to move into it's also a little bit of an understanding about this because the hermit card can also mean pause. And that's usually what happens before some kind of like change comes in. And not only will there be signs, one of the signs is everything stops. And so also what can happen is, is that everything kind of falls apart. And it kind of looks like now my life is falling apart. What is happening? You're in the hermit. There's always a pause, a quiet silence before that moment. Have you noticed when the sun rises in the morning? Sometimes in South Africa, we have to get up really early because we wake up about five in the morning, check out kids to school, which is earlier than most countries. And um, sometimes I'll go out and I'll see the sun it usually rises there. The east for me is right there. And the sun will come up there and you can see the light coming, you know. And when I come out my front door, I walk here and I can see it. And it's so quiet in that moment. It's so, there's hardly no traffic and it's so quiet. And sometimes the birds even go quiet just that moment, you know. And as you sit, you, you can watch it and then the sun just peeks over the, the rooftops on that side because there's houses there. And before that sun comes out, it's quiet. You must go listen. Maybe you'll hear like a bird chirping somewhere, but there's a silence that happens. And I feel like that's another sign for you. The moment all of a sudden nothing changes and nothing moves and everything seems stuck. An even bigger sign is everything starts breaking. You're, if you're having this happen, your car breaks down, you break every cup and plate in your house, your TV breaks, um, Friendships all of a sudden just dissolve away into nothing. Relationships starts falling down. You're in the moment. That's the moment of clearing up energy, opening up space in your life so that a new cycle can begin for you. And that's what you need to also check. There's signs. You need to live with the signs. You need to understand. Think about winter you know when winter comes this earth is so perfectly made in fact this earth is a living being a living entity we are a part of her and um, we're like a, a living being and we're a part of her okay and um when winter comes and everything sort of dies and it goes as you see how it works when it dies everything is it's interesting and i'm talking about that because you've got solstice there um when autumn comes in or fall as you speak about in america you'll call it fall um 
have you noticed what happens? The wind starts picking up and it gets very really windy and all of a sudden, you know, you're holding on to your hat and you, your umbrella goes flying and everything. It's because um, it's preparing for the cleansing. So the wind blows to blow away all the leaves that fell, all the branches that fell, all the things that sort of withered and died. It must clear it away. It's nature's broom, okay? So it clears, it clears, it makes space, it clears everything away. So that when the radiance comes again and the sun starts to shine, there is space for new things to grow. And that, I feel, is what's happening with you here. You've got a Ten of Wands. It couldn't be more perfect you're reading. My goodness. A Ten of Wands aligning with the Seven of Swords. Now we understand more about what the Ten of Wands is. So there has been something here with the Seven of Swords. It's either tied to people, a person, or situations where you have been dealing with something that's just not meant for you. That's really causing you problems. And this is what's making you carry such a heavy load like this on your shoulder. So either people or situations have been putting you into a place where you are carrying a lot of stress. And this is now what will come to an end. Okay, your reading is beautiful. With the Two of Cups coming in here, we do see the Moon card coming in. The Moon card now, we got Pisces in your reading. I do feel it's talking about possibly timing. Um, could be a couple of months, like I said, from now, because the Moon card in timing means months um, or a month. Excuse me, I got a hiccup. Okay, and with the Moon card coming in here, I also feel like they're talking about trust again. It's the same sort of energy of like, the hermit almost, like almost the same kind of like spiritual needing to go within, needing to trust what you do not see, trusting the unfolding of life and where it is taking you. They really asking you to trust that you are going to be led onto the right path, led to the right person. You need to trust because sometimes with the moon card, this is the energy. The moon card will sometimes, the moon card, the moon will sometimes be seen. I know when we had the solar eclipse, many people came out and were like, isn't this supposed to be new moon? But there was no moon in the solar eclipse. Shocking. At the end of the day, the new moon is not seen with the naked eye. It is so thin, you can barely see that. You can only see it with a telescope or, you know, something very powerful. Um, and so when you are knowing that you're stepping into a new beginning, you don't see it coming. You, you could be in dark moon, okay? Dark moon is about three days before the new moon. Is it that, is that night when it's so dark outside, you don't see no moon whatsoever? And you don't know. You're in the dark. You don't know when something is going to happen, when something is going to shift. And you need to rely upon your faith. You need to rely upon your intuition. You need to rely upon the cycles moving the way that they are supposed to move. Knowing, I feel I'm hearing spirit guides say, knowing that there's a specific timing involved here where you are going to see this change come in. So we are looking at a specific moment of time here, okay? And your four of wands, guess what the card is that clarifies it? Man, this is good news. And let me tell you, let me tell you, it's better than what you think. you got the Ten of Cups coming in here with a Four of Wands. The new cycle that you move into is one of real, the card that fell down, happiness. The Ten of Cups is a happy life. It is a happy life for you. It's for your family. It's for the people that you love. It's your home being beautiful. Being The energy is just so good. Um, where you live, what you do in the day, where you work, it's good vibes coming in there. For some of you guys, if you are single, you are um, wondering if this could be a person, you may marry this person. I feel like you may. I feel like not even may. The two cards that will come out here is very, very straightforward. This is a wedding and that is a happy family. <laughs> White picket fence, you know, your home, your children, a dog, a cat, everything you want, if that's what you want. Traveling the world with this person, running a business together, whatever it is you want, that is it. I'm finding it interesting that even the Four of Wands has got two cats like the Two of Cups. So it shows that synchronicity, again, showing up for you. If it's a relationship, my goodness, that this is also for you. If you're in alignment, the new beginning that comes, it puts you into alignment with the reality here 
that's going to make you happy, which I love so much. Cancer, I think for you, this is perfect. I think for you, this is perfect because you really do love um, your emotions to be in a really good place. You like to feel happy in any, every circumstance you're in. And you want things to be kind of like calm. You want things to be very um, calm and very... Uh, you're in an emotional good place in the reality that you live in. And let me tell you, that's exactly what's coming in. There we go. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys again next time in your reading. Bye.